residents of Abuja to refrain from participating in the planned nationwide protest against economic hardship. The minister stated this in a security meeting with the FCT Police Command, emphasizing that while citizens have the right to protest, they do not have the right to incite anarchy and unrest. FCT correspondent Naomi Oleribe has details on this. The minister, Baris Tanyesom Wike, said President Tinibu is aware of the concerns of citizens and is diligently working to address the challenges. We're all aware of the threats as regards to protests, as regards to what some people may call and bad governance. We believe that we have right to protest, we have right to demonstrate, but all this has to come within the ambit of the law. Barista Wiki noted that the protest is scheduled for the same day that certificates of recognition will be issued to traditional rulers in the six area councils of the FCT. So let's go what he had us and he had us very well. That that day is not available for those who want to protest and the FCT is not available for the protesters. Earlier, during an inspection of the 5-kilometer access road in Saburi 1 and 2, Barrister Wiki reiterated his appeal to people, urging them to avoid actions that could lead to disorder. Protest, it will solve the problem. It will solve the problem. It will solve the problem. But now to everybody, present don't see them, everybody don't see them. Say yes, those who are angry, or are supposed to be angry, Nobody will 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 not go to for for money. So making them happy, you go happy. No. So as long as don't express that, I will not say yes. Hunger day. Now we will work morning and uh, night to see say this hunger will reduce as small. So I did beg on. President, don't yes, okay. We can give him some more time. <laughs> The minister said his administration is committed to implementing strategies that will improve standard of living for FCT residents. Naomi Oleribe, ADBN News.